might have found it. Contact points. You wouldn't really think that's a contact point right there, right? With that little... That bolt, bolt right? There's a hole in this harness, right? Right there. Some of this work that we do doesn't have to be super complicated and complex. It's a, it's a basic system. It's a five volt regulated circuit with a short the ground. See if you get a shot before I pull this apart. That purple white wire is right there. Contact points and look where it was contacting. Right there, right there. Do you see the copper wire sticking through the purple white the wire line, right there? I see the white line missing from the section of, yeah, where was that hitting? Right on this stud right here. No bleep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep. Wow. Yep. And is that the reference? That's part? my reference circuit. So this is a good lesson, Caleb, on don't be a parts changer, don't you think? It's got a new throttle Never body. It's got, a new, it's got a new, it's got a new cam sensor actuator. What else was gonna be thrown at it new before they decided, you know what? It's time to pay a diagnostic fee. For those of you that think you can just hook a scan tool up, read a fault code and change a part, this is a great lesson on that. What fault code do we have in our, in our scan tool when I started? When I started today, the code we have is a random misfire code. What's the parts store gonna, gonna sell you for a random misfire? Plugs, wires, coils. Okay. Not, close to what you need. Not even close to what we need. Part two of this, we have a crank sensor fault code. What's the part store going to sell you? Crank sensor. Crank sensor. Guess what? Don't need a crank sensor either. What's the problem? Shorted five volt reference circuit. You just can't do troubleshooting that way. I, I'm really getting frustrated by the market as a whole in general and the way that they've kind of created the problem themselves, you know, that our part stores who supply us with what we need to fix this promote code reading parts changing. And there's even commercials on YouTube on my own videos that like fix it or fix ya or some stupid Bluetooth piece that they're, they just rip on mechanics like we're out to rip people off and here, this device is going to save you money and it's going to tell you what you need. It's a bull commercial you can't change a part on a code don't be a parts changer five volt reference circuit shorted to ground shutting this freaking engine off here let's do this running now see how it reacts